If you haven't landed your summer 2023 internship yet, you really need to be worried and think about something's wrong with your job hunting strategy, or maybe your resume, maybe your networking strategy, or maybe you don't have a product portfolio. But what if I tell you that even if all the companies are having layoffs and crazy things going on in the environment, you can still definitely land summer internship if you follow the right strategies. I guarantee you, you're going to make it happen as well. Just like today, we invited our guest speaker and sharing with you the behind scenes secret, how she landed the product manager internship with Microsoft in summer 2023. Make sure to stay until the end of this video where we share with you top three must to do's so that you're able to quickly land your next internship as soon as possible. Hey guys, this is Dr. Nancy Lee, a direct product and featured in Forbes. I've helped 100 people land their dream PM job offer in fan companies and unicorn startup and continue to get promoted as a product leader. If you're interested in product management course, please go to pmaccelerator.io to learn the most effective way to become a product manager. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell button to be notified every time and turn on new video every Wednesday. If you like the tips we provide you today, please make sure to hit the like button until it turns blue because it's only way YouTube algorithm will recognize me. And today's guest speaker we have is Iris Yuning Yi. Um, she's sharing with you guys regarding how she was able to land product manager internship in Microsoft. Hey, hi, hi Iris, how are you? Hello, Nancy. Thanks for having me today. Awesome, awesome. Thank you for joining us. Um, you know, lots of our audience have this question. Hey, we're going through a crazy recession. There's not that many jobs out there. Uh, I know lots of you guys just finished some kind of like some uh, like midterms. Finally, it's time for you guys really lay their focus on landing your next summer internship as soon as possible because time is running out. Um, but you successfully land a great internship. Can you just quickly start introducing yourself and share all the secret behind the scenes, how you make it happen? Yeah, and, and first of all, thanks for having me. And I definitely feel the midterm part because I just wrapped up right my midterm for two two of them. And I'm an Iris. I'm also a first year master's student right now. Uh, I'm currently studying in University of Michigan, information science major. And so in the coming summer, I will be in interning at Microsoft in the Azure security team. Awesome. Welcome, welcome. So by the way, congratulations on your offer. Uh, we have like so many Microsoft internship offers through PMA program and you are one of them. Very excited for you guys. But can you tell us exactly uh, how we get started? First of all, tell us what's your challenges and um, learning a PM internship during a recession and how you conquer those challenges. Can you start with the first challenge you have? There are definitely a lot of challenges and I definitely feel every single one of you. And the first challenge I had was, um, so I started my master degree last year in around August. Uh, so, and at that time, I, that was my first master and I'm trying to figure out, okay, how to kind of do the interview about product management. And at the same time, the application and a lot of job posting is already open. So the first challenge is, how to get prepared for the interview and applying at the same time. So all of these is really time consuming and the interview is really hard, but I found PMA in around August, August through your YouTube video. And then I was like, okay, this is somewhere I want to go to and I find community so I can learn from Nancy and also learn from other people at the same time. So this is the first challenge and how I started from the draft seeking process. I see. Can you tell us more regarding how we conquer the first challenge? Sounds like there's a lot going on, especially for big companies. The internship is a deadline. Like majority of the big tech company is by August and, and maybe until September, they still accept the application. And you have lots going on. So tell us how exactly you manage it. I think first of all is just I, uh, as soon as I was on board of the PMA, I got to talk to Nancy. I got to talk to uh, a lot of alumni and learn about the timeline, first of all. As you said, a lot of internships, they stop accepting the uh, applications until August or even September or July. So it's really early. So I, as soon as I re realized that, I started to start from the very beginning of the PMA modules, of the resume preparing, and of those who, how you can pitch to LinkedIn networking, and then all of these. So start from there, get 
everything ready, such as resume, such as portfolio, such as your LinkedIn. So I spent about two weeks getting all of these ready and go to the office hours. And then I started applying based on all of the materials I have. And that was how I started is about the end of August, I remember, or the start of September. And、mm-hmm. after that, I did simultaneously like one hour each day to look through the jobs and one hour to look through the courses provided by the PMA. So I learned about the interview, how it's going, and how to kind of do a product framework. So do it、um, all together at, at the same day and keep doing it for about two weeks. And then when I got the first interview, I kind of、uh, can apply the framework into it. And so, with the interview and with the PMA courses, these two coming together, I think it's a practice process for me.、Um, and this all together comes to how I conquered the first challenge、uh, of how to manage them all together at the same time. Ira, so tell us, given all the challenges you had, so how many interviews you actually had through those very busy application studying process? So I probably landed about ten. Uh, but I failed most of them, especially the first one that hurts a lot. I failed the first Dolingo. That was with Dolingo. I failed that interview, and that took me quite a time to kind of recover and think through that. Uh huh. Why do you think you failed the first interview? What did you learn? I think the failure comes to two, from two parts, and I still remember in that interview he was asking me about a design question. And I spent a lot of time thinking about it. So it probably five minutes, just pure silence in the interview, and that is really awkward. It, at that moment, I did not feel that way. I was just getting too deep into my question. But、uh, when I think about rethink about it, it's really awkward. So five minutes silence, I think first of all is、um, you're not talk- talking and you're not going them through, walking them through whatever you are thinking about. And the second. Reason I failed、uh, is because they are asking design, but I spend a lot of time talking about how the feature is going instead of how it should look. So I think this is the one thing that I learned is in all of the questions, just go back to what they are asking, what they are targeting, instead of following the framework, following whatever in your mind, thinking about the target question. I think that's a hard lesson, but I. Did reflect on it, and then I learned I need to do it, adjust the two parts. So later in the later interviews, I try to listen carefully to what they're asking and note them down on paper. And so that makes me to remind me that oh, I'm gonna answer this part. And for the other part is just for all of the thoughts in mind, I tend to note them down and to limit them within 30 seconds, 20 seconds, so in the manageable time, and then walk the interviewer. Through my thinking process, so they're on the same page with me. That definitely helps me to land the later interviews and landing the offer in Microsoft. Awesome! Congrats. You mentioned earlier saying that you have ten interviews. So lots of people barely can get one interview. Can you tell us exactly how you land interviews using maybe Dolingo as example? Your first interview, how do you land it? Yeah. So all of the interviews landing is quite different. I will. Probably use Dolingo as an example. That's a unique one. That I attended a webinar provided by Dolingo is talking about how the PM looks like in Dolingo for one day.、And、after I t- attended, I connected one of the PM within the webinar, and、um, uh, I was I think I was just lucky, and he connected with me, and he's offering a referral to the position. So I get prepared, and also he helped me through all of the screening process. I think, and that was how I I landed my first interview. But that's unique, and all of the others, I would say, is more general that getting resume ready first of all. And yeah, definitely, if I my resume was not ready at the time, he will not refer me at all. And that's also one thing to keep in mind. Awesome, awesome, and for everybody who is watching this, we have a free resume template which has been used by nine thousand product managers. You can go to this website and download your free Keter product manager resume and get you prepared for your upcoming job application process. Iris, so let me ask you the question. Does everybody understand? There's a huge recession coming up, like all the c- scandals about Silicon Valley banks and lots going on. We're filming this. It's all during the Silicon Valley bank. Yeah. <laughs> It's crazy. So the economy is driving people nuts.、Um, so, but you still power through. 
we know we're all going through recession. You still power through. You land your、um, P and internship offer from Microsoft. So tell us what's the most important shift that pushed you to the next level, given this lots crazy things going on. Yeah, I definitely think there. As in one moment, I had my mindset shifted, and that helped me a lot.、Um, first of all, I think anxiety is normal. That I was anxious for so long that starting from the process of the interview prep, but then I realized recession is not something with my control. Like no matter how hard I tried, it's still there. So what I can do is just do whatever in. Within my control, such as I get my resume ready, I get my portfolio reviewed by NSC by other PMA mentors, and then with all of that, I get my interview skills polished. And with that, that pushes me pushes me to a more positive mindset when doing all of this prep work. It's not as anxious as before. It's more structured and it's more in control. And on the other hand, I think. I'm a firm、mm. believer that if you walk every step firmly, you will not end up too bad. So just take every single minor thing seriously, such as to go to the office hour, be prepared, go to every single interview, be prepared, and you will not end up too bad. Yeah, exactly. And actually, you push it through. You actually end up in a really good place. An offer from Microsoft. We're very proud of you. This is amazing. And you also volunteer to be mentors to help other people learning. Like interns are very、uh, really、yeah. love seeing you contributing back to the community. This is amazing. What specific advice you have for people want to get start the PM career? Because lots of people like you who are in school, they're very interested in product management. They're scared about the recession. So, what specific advice you would have for them? I think that's a A great one, and probably is not an advice, advice, but just something from my experience. I totally understand that how hard it is you are in school, that you do not have that many time, but then you have a lot of projects, and then you have a lot of connections within within the school. You have business school; you can go to all the courses that have connection with industry, heads of clients to collaborate with. So go to all of those courses to collaborate and to build up your resume. Uh, you can use the course experience as a project you have done, and you can tell the story based on that. So, for all of the people who you are interested in product management position,、um, just tailor and also keep all of the experience tailored to the PM experience and tailored to what the job description is asking, and then use that as your self stories. So, I think this is the first one, and the second、awesome. one I have in mind is that.、Um, Start earlier and also get ready earlier. So,、mm -hmm. such as resume, and because most of the time, you know, after COVID, everybody's on online. You do not get to meet people in person that that many times as before. So, your online profile, your first impressions, is mainly built up online. If、yeah. you do not have a great LinkedIn, people will like, oh, okay, I don't. It's not trustworthy. So get all of your first impression, virtual first impression ready. I think that、mm -hmm. is also important. And have your resume ready, so you always have some something to hand out, to introduce, and then for them to read at the same time.、Um, can you define the virtual impression? You mentioned resume, and what else should go into the virtual in,、uh, impression? I personally will break down into three parts. So the resume. And the link it in, and also your portfolio. If you do have time, definitely recommend.、Um, for the resume part, is all about you make it clean, tidy, neat, and、mm -hmm. link it in. Is I do recommend it as PMA. I remember there's a course talking about how you build up and link it in. So have、yeah. all your experience ready in the profile. So whoever went to it, they will look through that, and they will look through scores. So making it as condensed and As thorough as possible, so others understand what kind of experience you had, and also describe it in detail. There's a de description session; you can put everything in. Describe in detail and use the keywords of the product management position, so that you can be more easily identified by others through the searching. And for the last、awesome. one is the portfolio. And portfolio,、um, you, if you have your project ready. And really write it down into something readable, and and making it into a blog post or making it into a web page, so others can refer to and understand how you think through it. So I think、beautiful. these are the three three parts I have in mind. 
Awesome, those are the golden nugget <laughs> in the sharing process. And hey, for guys who are interested in the product portfolio, we have retraining regarding product portfolio. You can watch this video right here. And you should also go to this website. There's 13 different kind of projects you can work on to create your own product portfolio as well. I'm going to link in the description down below. Awesome. So Iris, and thank you for sharing with all of us. Uh, when are you starting your uh, internship at Microsoft? It will be at the end of May, but I think the starting date, we'll start still figuring that out. And probably May and June-ish, and we'll be 12 weeks. This is exciting. Is that a remote PM job or on-site? It's on-site, and I think starting from this year, and it's so lucky, starting from this year, everything is shifting on-site, on and previously at 2021 is still hybrid. It's hard. <laughs> Ah, oh, nice, nice. Then you can network and convince them to give you a return offer. This is exciting. Awesome. So best of luck for your upcoming internship. All right. So for people with any additional questions and how could they contact you? Oh, yeah. So I will have my LinkedIn um, available and you can just feel free to contact me with the LinkedIn. And so uh, if you have any questions, feel free to chat with me. Awesome, awesome. Thank you for sharing with us. All right, so hey guys, if you like this video and all the golden nuggets we shared with you today, please make sure to like this video and watch other playlists we'll put here to get ready for your resumes and interviews. I'm gonna see you next time. This is Dr. Nancy Lee from PMXRGO. See you guys, bye.